Here we go then guys, up the plot. We're putting some bags of this um, ooh, miracle grow in the birdies' beds. Not going to open it yet because there's no point washing the nutrients out, is there? <laughs> but what I've got to do is get the, um, the wonder pots scattered around because that needs to soak into the ground, if you know what I mean. But first of all, I'm going to sort my rhubarb out. So back in a sec. I have never forced rhubarb before. Now this one is, and I'll put the name up on the screen when I get home. Um, yeah, this is uh, the four year old now. In fact, this was, this was the very first thing I planted on this new allotment in 2020. And that is a perfect size, that. That is perfect. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bit of the old wonder post around, scratch it in a bit. It's had a bit of um, chicken manure pellets and uh, what's the other one? Q4. It had some Q4 over the winter. So it should be all right. Right, it's got to find something to put on this. Weight down. Look at that, someone's eating my pond, look. Huh. That's it, bag of ream in, that'll do. Right, next, I'll get that wood chip moved. Got some new wood chip coming soon. <laughs> I think I'll do for that bit anyway. For now. Ouch. Right, let's get rid of this Rose Bay Willow herb. Horrible stuff. But once you cut it, it's, uh, it's gone. Because it self seeds everywhere, it's. Uh... Some of it comes off my plot, I suspect, because I'm a bit lazy sometimes, but some of it blows in, it's quite prevalent around here. I've lost a bit of their definition, these beds, I have to uh, get them a bit square. Mind you, I expect a lot of that's down to that blooming rain we've had. That too. Phew, these are heavy, these bags. And they're not, uh, it's not that they're wet, they're just heavy, 20 kilograms each. This is uh, my usual want. Let me show you. I was going to do 
straw bale bed there, there, and there. I changed my mind just in case it doesn't work. Now, I, I have no doubt it won't work. Does that make sense? I know it will work, but for this year, I'm just going to do there, there, and something along the back behind the wheelbarrow on the border line there. Okay then, last up today is get these old bean stems, stalks, stems, what do we call them really, off the frame. Leave them down there for now to rot. And they're gonna need a bit more tying up this year. Look, they're all moving. Funny how these, I'm gonna cut myself on the throat here, but funny how these hazel sticks have lasted, well, this will be their third year. And the ones that were behind me didn't last one year. And weird, isn't it? Yeah. And those, um, we've got some more wonder pots to go in down here as well, so. That's it for this side, I think. Yeah, I gotta sort these out, haven't I? All right, bring the glue with me again tomorrow then. Let me twine. Funny how last year, I was just, I was just chatting to a plot neighbour. Last year, everybody else was sort of harvesting their beans and mine was just starting. Isn't it weird? And they carried on until October, I think it was. I'll have to renew these next year, definitely. These were from um, Westenburg Arboretum. The guy up there, he's uh, like a, what do you call him, a woodsman? I don't know what you call him, really. he got his own little uh, yard up there. Makes loads of hazel, what do you call them, fences? What do you call those? Yeah, they know what I mean. Loads of stuff, brilliant. And he delivered them as well, so. The rest of that is them. And look, <laughs> you can't see it, but under there, that's the pea sticks I bought at the same time, look. So, yeah, that'll do. So, quick look round then, and we get going. Okay, dar garlic, <laughs> garlic's doing okay in there. Not too bad, elephant garlic in there. Um, one lot of wonder pots on the green manure bed. Now this was a tomato bed, still got a few onions in there, probably no good. But I'm thinking of moving that this year. Um, and I'll show you as we go around, same jump in it. Uh, wonder pots down there. Miracle Grow to top up the wonder pots in the birdies beds. A couple of old um, pots of uh, chilli compost there. Just want to show you very quickly why I've gone away from uh, wooden raised beds. And it's because, well, I've just moved these. I use these old battens to hold down netting. And look, they're covered in slugs. Absolutely, I know, and I know slugs hide under wood, <clears throat> but what I have found is they live in the cracks of the wood. Not on these particular bits because they aren't rotten enough, but um, on my old pallet collar beds, when I dismantled them, <laughs> How are you? All right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and as I was saying, guys, um, <laughs> these wooden battens, they were, well, you can see now, look, they were covered in slugs. And I've been chatting away, as I do, for 10 minutes, and they've nearly all gone, look. So if that was on the on the plot, they'd be amongst your brassicas or whatever. So, uh, yeah. 
hoping the, the cold spell would kill some of these slugs this year, but oh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, one deposter going to there as well. Need to get that done pretty soon, actually, so we can get in the ground before the beans. This was where the frame was last year, and it was impractical. Couldn't get between the two. <laughs> and the... Um, the black currants are in the way as well. So I'm going to sort that out. It's dumping ground at the moment. Uh, one deposit to go on there. I was going to move this wood chip today, but I've got a delivery coming. Let's get the shadow. Get the shadow at the sun. I was going to move this wood chip today, but I've got a delivery coming. So we've got one deposit under the bean frame. Uh, climbing frame. It's not a bean frame, it's a climbing frame. There will be some French beans on there, and peas, obviously. Maybe a melon, and maybe a tromboncino or two. More bags of the old Wonder Post there. Sweet corn bed, that's just been rotting away nicely over the winter. They're just snapping off now at the roots, so they're, they're rotted down nicely. Um, that one there was... That was the leeks, sorry. I was going to pick some, but they're a bit mushy. They're okay in the centre, but by the time you peeled the mushy bits on the outside, it's, it's not worth it. Now this is where I'm thinking of doing the tomatoes. Um... I can't see those cabbages come into much. I'll check when I get home, see when I planted them, see if it's worth keeping. But that's quite a wide bed, that one. Because I was going down the, the route of um, doubling the size of my beds. So I can get more tomatoes in there, then, can I? <laughs> yeah. Okay, more wonder past. Bit on the end there. Uh, broad beans and peas in there. <sighs> Overwintering broad beans, they're okay, they'll be a week or two early. But there'll only be one or two beans in a pod, so you got a question, is it worthwhile, you know? Uh, one deposit on this one here, which you just seen me do. And these two are going to be straw bale. And that's a dumping ground at the moment. I'm going to let that sort of rot down a little bit, get the goodness out of it. No point putting it in. Where are we? Can you see that? Okay, let's see where we are now. There we are, over there. No point putting it in the communal compost over there. Never going to use it. Might as well let it rot down on my own plot. Well, that's it, guys. Um, yeah, get home and dump the uh, dump those bags. Oh, excuse me. It's a quick overview before we go. There we are. But sadly, um. Harry the Hawkeye didn't make it. He was beyond economical repair, so whether I buy a new one or not, I don't know. Not sure if it worked, really. It's one of those things you buy it and you convince yourself it works. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Oh, that's an idea. I like that, I like that archway there. I might have to make some natural like that. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Or it could grow one, I suppose. Grow an archway. There. Yeah, I'll talk to myself now, so uh, get it going guys and uh, catch you soon.